Welcome to the Kevin Haim Golf School, home of Canada's very first Gears 3D Motion Capture Studio. As a matter of fact, this is only the 23rd studio in the entire world. And I think 3D Motion Capture is going to change the way we learn the game. Everybody knows what a launch monitor is. A flight scope launch monitor captures the data out of a golf club and the golf ball and helps you pick the right driver. 3D motion capture actually does the exact same thing for you, your body, and your golf swing. We'll place 38 markers over your entire body, capture that body and those golf swings, and then teach you with that data exactly how you want your body and your arms and your golf club to move. What we're gonna do today is we're going to take you through one of our two hour sessions with a great young student of mine and show you kind of how the process works. I think you're really going to be intrigued by it. It will help you play better golf and we're thrilled to be Canada's first again, 3D Motion Capture Studio. So as we mark the golf club up, we create markers on the golf shaft, the club face, and at the end of the golf club, and we create a 3D environment that our computer can fully track exactly what the golf club does, as well as our pupil. So as one of our PGA staff disassembles the golf club now that we've captured it, we'll show you the cameras. There are four cameras in either side of the room that will capture our golfer and create an avatar of that golfer. And then of course we can show him on the 70 inch screen all the details of his golf swing. Spine angle, spine tilt, club rotation, face release, all in real time and down to 0 .002 millimeters accuracy. It's really a cool process. So as our golfer warms up for his two hour session here with his 28 markers on it, I, th I thought I'd give you a little more information about the process. Our eight cameras actually capture those 28 markers and create that avatar, which is like capturing a butterfly in a glass tube. We can then look at that avatar from face on, obviously down the line, but also from above and below and any perspective we want at any time. And that data is captured forever so we can look at it and compare down the road. I also wanted to mention that we've had golfers anywhere from age 82, 35 handicap, all the way down to college scholarship type players like Nick here and a web.com player. Everybody's gotten incredible data out of this process. Uh, we're the first Gears studio, the first 3D motion capture studio in Canada. We're th really thrilled with that and uh, let's let Nick warm up a little more and we'll show you how this thing works. So our eight 3D motion capture cameras and software actually capture this swing instantaneously and you can see the avatar on the screen. We get all of the data that quickly and that accurately. So once we capture our golfer, we get amazing data on his golf swing and on the club. And you can see some of the club data from impact point, club path, everything about the shaft, everything about the speed of the club, angle of face. Then we move into our body data and we get the kinematic sequence. We get all the joint and wrist angles, his posture angles. And then we jump into our visual section of our software and we can put things like draw lines through his body, show different angles, at different points. We can throw a head bubble onto him. Uh, we can show his impact vectors. In other words, what that golf club is doing exactly at impact. And with the golfer, we can piece together the entire puzzle and really help him understand and improve. So now we're looking at the data with our golfer, Nick Breezebois, one of our coaching kids and scholarship athletes, a great young player. And you can see, uh, Nick, your plane lines look really good. If we look at them from different perspectives, you can really get an idea how that club swings around your body. And Nick does a super job. His club is in terrific positions at many points. The one thing we do work on with Nick is a little bit of his spine tilt through impact. So if we put on some body lines there, we'll see that Nick's legs tend to outrun, and you know this, mm -hmm. Nick, but your legs outrun your upper body a little bit, and so his spine angle is a little steeper than we'd like at this point. So Nick and I work on staying more on top of the ball, getting the upper body and lower body working together. But with this uh, data and software, we can see the exact number, 114.1 at impact. In a month from now, we're hoping to get that down in the 105 section with a little bit of drill work, a little bit of practice work, but we get real-time, super accurate data.
Well, there it is, golfers, a look inside 3D motion capture in our brand new 3D motion capture studio here at the Kevin Haim Golf School. This will change the way golfers learn the game. We're extremely excited about it. If you want to learn a little more about gears, you can log on to kevinhaim.com, where we've got a lot more info and a couple more videos.